I've uh, spent a lot of time and research in putting, uh, designing these things so that anybody can put it together. It takes no special tools and I want to demonstrate that for you today. Now our systems come with tank stands pre-assembled. It does uh, come with adjustable legs as well. So you can adjust this part in and out. You can also adjust this part in and out. These are your grow beds and they're very lightweight as well. Easy to move around. Now these kits come complete with uh, all the plumbing pre-done for you, pre-cut. Very few connections have to be made. Uh, don't have to use any glue. It's just a low pressure system, so presses on there. This is your box of goodies. These kits come with everything that you need. We're gonna take our sump tank and slide it up under this bed so that our overflow water can flow into the sump tank below. Um, this is your second plumbing connection. This is to connect your raft bed with your media bed. So get this positioned where you want it and then this just slides in. All right, this is your auto siphon. It comes pre-assembled, ready to go. This is your last connection. Just have to press this right in to your bulkhead fitting. Okay, your system's pretty much ready to go. Uh, ready to fill up the clay bed with the pebbles, put water in the fish tank and in your raft tank. And uh, this is expandable. This 300 gallon fish tank will actually power up to eight of these grow beds. An endless food system will pay for itself very quickly. Depending on how your family eats will determine how fast. If you're currently buying all organic produce, then it will pay for itself uh, probably in less than a year. These systems use about 90% less water than a conventional garden. Not to mention, they're gonna produce generally about 10 times more per square foot than a conventional garden and also do it in less time. Elevated grow beds make it easy to plant and harvest without back strain. There's no soil diseases or pests since you're not using any soil. There's no watering or fertilizing, that's all automatic. There's three inputs to the system, water, generally the initial fill up of the system and then topping it off on a weekly basis. The only water you're gonna lose is to evaporation. You can grow your own fish food if you want to, but it's very inexpensive to buy. And a small amount of electricity. There's a water pump and an aerator. Together they use about 25 watts and we're even working on a solar battery system so that you can power your entire system off the grid.